In this short video, we're going to look at how easy it is to create a class on Remind and add some content to it. So I'm going to open up the app. As you can see, it's pretty streamlined. And I'm going to start by creating a class by hitting the plus here. Now, all you do is type in a name. In this case, it's going to be a geography class and then press create. In order to invite students into your class, you choose one of these three options. Now, the easiest is to choose copy a link. If you copy that link, you can then share that via email or for a parent mail service, however you would uh, communicate with your children. Now, the class is all set up and ready to go. What we then do is go to messages and add announcements via this pencil tool here. So I tap on announcements and choose which class I'd like to send an announcement to. And then I could go ahead and start typing out my announcement. So in this case, I'm basing on volcanoes, have a go at labeling the key features of this volcano. Now, obviously, I need to add an image to that for this to make sense. So I then go to photo and I can see all of the pictures in my camera roll and I'm going to choose this volcano here. Cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. All I then need to do is press send. So that's then in this kind of shared group message that the children can access. We'll go back to announcements and look at some of the other bits that you can add, like voice clip here. So you tap on it and it starts recording. So once you have labeled the key features, please record your own facts about volcanoes. Happy with that. And I'm going to send that into that same group uh, area there. So you can just keep on building uh, the content in this sort of group messaging area. Uh, one more uh, element that I'd like to just point out is all of the different files and all of the different things that you can add to your Remind uh, shared message here. Some of those apps listed there you might already be using. Or you can tap on File and add a, a PDF, a keynote, um, some content from GarageBand, all sorts of files. I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to leave it as that. Now, for the student, all they do is they open up the same messaging app. They'll see all of this and then they tap on the content and they download it onto their own iPad to start editing and completing the work. So there you have it. As simple as that. Remind is a really streamlined app for online learning.